Right, so this is gonna be a short video on how to improve your squat with a simple technique. If you're not already doing, I guarantee will help you squat more weight. Right, so the tip for today is inter-abdominal pressure. We're gonna be trying to bring in as much air as we can to support even more load when we're squatting. The concept's simple. Think of this bottle as your midline, yeah? Now, we've got this bottle half filled with Coke. We shake it up, and it creates even more gas, and it expands. Once it expands, and we stand on it, notice the bottle will keep its shape. Now, what would happen if we took that air, air lid off and let the air out? The bottle would lose its shape. Same thing with our midline. We want to breathe in, suck as much air as we can into that midline. So when we've got a heavy weight on our back or in the front squat position or goblet squat, our body keeps its shape. Yeah. people when they hit that maximum load they get there bump hit the bottom uh, 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 and they start to break that's probably because they haven't got enough pressure in that midline to support them same reason why we use weight belts we use weight belts to create a bit more tension through the midline and stay stable but with this interdominal pressure we want to breathe in more air and use that inner weight belt the muscles we already have there <laughs> technique with clients I've had them ask where do I breathe then if I say you're doing a set of 10 where should you breathe I've had some people say breathe out as you're coming up I wouldn't say breathe completely out but sometimes you'll get to a point where you've got so much pressure you've probably have you ever heard anyone making that power lift and that as they come up out of the squat like a piston let them bits of the pressure out that is okay but letting it all out imagine what will happen got all that tension went down I'm losing tension on the way up. A little bit out is okay. Me, I prefer to hold it all the way through. I take my second breath at the top. So here's a little example how it looks when I do. In position, I'll step back, feet in position from there, take that breath, lock in. Give it a try. It can get a little bit gassy if you're going for a set of 10 or even a set of 20. It's gonna take long to get through. But definitely when you get to your maximal load, it will help you move a lot more weight in the long run. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey,